Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim World 2. And uh, we are back on the Tees Valley line, and this time we have the first scenario with the Class 20. And uh, this is a Class 20 in Rail Freight Red Stripe, and it looks amazing. This is sort of the classic Class 20 look that you see, and uh, this is class 20 zero 59 and we have a uh, second head um, class 20 behind us we are double heading today and we are carrying these empty BBA wagons which is sort of like a, a low flatbed sort of wagon and yeah we'll basically be taking them down the line today and uh, the class 20 is a really interesting one it is mainly a freight loco and I mean, as you can tell, it is really loud. Um, and it got the nickname The Chopper. That sort of like deep throaty rumble sound. But uh, this is the first time I am playing with the Class 20 in this game. Um, so we will be hopping in to the cab and checking it out. But before we do, I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so down below so you don't miss any of my content when it comes out. All right, let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so we are inside the Class 20 here, and uh, as you can see, we are sat on the wrong side. We should sit over here, but for some reason, uh, I've played around with it a little bit. For some reason, I don't know why, but when you sit here and do the controls, it um, it doesn't work. The, the locomotive just doesn't move. Um, I don't know if there's a way to switch it over so that this is the main controls or what even though it says but uh if you sit here it actually does work so if we put this to forward set the train brake to running let's get some lights on in here as well i might have to do the brake over here seems the brakes not combined And we have got a yellow, so we can head out. There we go, we're getting amped. Oh, we're actually going backwards. Uh, that'll be due to this being set the wrong way. <laughs> if we set this to reverse. And we should. There we go. Starting to go now. Um, yeah, if you're having problems with this, oh, we're getting some wheel slip as well, but we'll, we'll we'll get past that. If you're having some problems with this class twenty chopper, just switch over to the other seat. turn these on. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, basically, um, what it was is I set this loco up. Um, let's just see if we've got headlights. We do. I set this loco up um, from this control panel. And for some reason, the loco just was, it wasn't going anywhere. Uh, it was just being really slow and it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything uh, from this console. It just wouldn't, wouldn't move, basically. And then I sat in this seat and played around with these controls and the train started moving as normal. So it's almost like this, it's almost like Dovetail have set this control panel to, they've like coded it wrong. Yeah, it's almost like they've coded this panel wrong and... Uh, if you actually want the train to start moving, you have to use this panel here. They are connected, as you can see. When I do the um, when I do the throttle lever, but uh, this directional lever, um, I basically had to set it on this side first before 
before we can get going and I had to set this lever to reverse because technically we're going in reverse with the class 20 here that is the front I believe even though this is like the main frontal area that drivers mainly use but yeah if you're having the same problem I was where the loco won't move when you set it up from this control panel like the mission tells you to be honest it is a bit confusing the um the loco or the the scenario just tell you to set it up from this console which is a bit a bit confusing we are stopping in a mile so we will start to it's fine we're getting a move on now and uh we are going via Grange Town Junction. We have uh, a yellow. Let's hope the next one is yellow. That's what I do like about this game. It's, it tells you the next signal. Uh, it's a lot more user friendly. Um, we do have a red. Hopefully we can have that turn yellow. Obviously being a freight loco and, and carrying freight we don't have priority on the lines but uh that goes into what I was saying about this loco being quite old now. Let's just give it a little bit of break. This loco is quite old now, uh, and it's showing its age. You know, it's it's a grimy, dirty, used. I mean, this is used, weathered look. Uh, it's a used loco that has served British Rail, carrying freight to and from places for many years, and. Uh, it was sort of succumbed by uh, other freight locos. I mean, now we use the class 66. We have got a yellow. That's excellent. We use the class 66 now, but uh, this was the go-to. And, and uh, I imagine a lot of lines still use the class 20. Probably more of an, in a shunting role now, but uh, still going strong, I think. Um, and a classic, to, classic locos to look at. It's sort of like an 08, class 08, but like the next evolution of it. Extended, more power, you know, two seats. It's sort of that concept, but here it is. See, it even looks like an 08, just extended. <laughs> but they got the nickname the Chopper because uh, the sound they make sounds like a, a Harley Davidson Chopper idling. It's sort of like that throaty boom, 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 boom sound. But yeah, they're just classic, classic locos. Here, shown in uh, British Rail, uh, British Rail Freight Red Stripe. Um, classic, classic livery, the British Rail Red Stripe. Um, Rail Freight Red Stripe. And. Uh, yeah, just really, really cool. I love the Class 20. It is just that iconic looking loco that is just... It has been seen everywhere. We're doing okay. Like I say, the front of the loco is actually this bit at the back here. Um, and this is the rear of the loco. Um, so technically we're driving this in reverse at the moment. Um, and that's why... This panel doesn't have a lot of buttons compared to this one over here. And is why this only has engine, um, sorry, forward, reverse and engine only. That's got a bit more features like off and stuff. Is because you're supposed to be driving it from this panel or setting the loco up in this panel. And then hopping over to here, I imagine. Yeah, I just I we all had high hopes for this game, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't deliver. Is that thirty-seven in rail freight red stripe as well? People keep asking me if that's a mod. Um, the rail freight red stripe on the thirty-seven. It is and it isn't. Um, technically, yes, it is a mod. But in reality, it is just someone's reskinned the original um, texture, basically. So you download the you download the texture from the Trainstorm community website. 
and you basically just replace the old texture in your game file with the new one, which is the Ralphite Red Stripe. Um, so technically it is a mod, but at the same time it isn't. But uh, if you were wondering, I think I did a video on the 37 in Rail Freight Red Stripe where I talk more about the skin and stuff and how to get it. So if you want to go to my channel and check that out, please do if you're wondering. Also, if you want to check out any other content that I produce, it is all on the channel, so just go have a look. But uh, we've got a creep into here. have got a single yellow so we're probably stopping here actually which is uh it's not been that long of a journey i don't know if we're going further or if this is it but soon we'll soon find out we have got a red signal coming up can't see it just yet And that is a 31 coming down, I believe. Right? Could be wrong. <laughs> I have been wrong in the past. I think it's the class 31. Oh, no, actually, it's a... Uh, I was mistaken. I thought it was a 31. It's actually another class 20. Not sure what it's carrying though, well, what it's pulling. Again, double heading. Okay, it's carrying those, um, are they cement? I can't remember the name of the wagon. I can't see, it's going too fast. There's this red light down there, is it? Yeah, I can't remember the name of that wagon, but uh, yeah, the Class 20 was pretty much always... I, I don't think it was always seen, but it was pretty much um, from videos I've seen of it, you know, flying past and stuff where people have recorded them from like the 90s and stuff. Um, they're always double heading, which is... Uh, I don't know if that was the preferred way of doing it. Um sort of like you know you you sort of have to double head them they they i don't know i don't know much about the class 20 but uh from what i've seen they've mostly been double headed the 101 really difficult loco to drive that uh i don't know if we'll be giving it a go uh i i really can't get to grips with it to be honest um i find it really difficult to drive with the sort of sort of double clutch it's not really a double clutch but you essentially have to go off the power change your gear um, so you you know you go first second third fourth on in the 101 really weird system and then you have to apply power again I I, I find it difficult I try to apply I try to like apply more power or change gear when there's power still being applied yeah, I find it really difficult. I can't do it. That's okay. We've got stuff like the Class 20. This came out a long time ago. This was part of the original Train Sim World. Uh, and it's part of the Preserved Collection now. Uh, I bought Tees Valley back when it came out on Train Sim World. And when the Class 20 came out... It was for Tees Valley, and that was for Train Sim World. And again, I uh, I got that when it came out, and uh, I haven't played it um, simply for the fact that I knew they were doing a Train Sim World two, and uh, I said to myself, I'll hold off playing Tees Valley and the Class Twenty, and when they bring it over to Train Sim World two, like they have done now part of the preserved collection uh, when they do that I will play it and that's why I'm here today um, I have got all the English 
uh, packs for this or DLCs for this uh, for this game. Trains in World Two. I bet this turns yellow when I stop. But yeah, I have got all the English DLC. Let's apply a bit more brake. Um, and I just haven't played any of them just because one I, I mostly spend my time on train sim 2021 um, it's a bit more of a fun game I like the uh, challengingness of it this is arcadey I'd say this is very arcadey um, you know it tells you the next speed limit it tells you the sort of uh, the next signal color Brakes still on a little bit, I think. We're getting wheel slip, I think. A little bit of wheel slip. We're okay, we're moving. It's the thing with these freight logos, these old freight logos is things take a bit longer you know you might have to just start off slow but they have enough power to get going quick Middlesbrough station I think that is which is 2.4 mile away we want to watch our amps really because we don't want to just absolutely throttle it uh, we'll start to get failures. Even though I don't think they've got failures uh, implemented in, but uh, still don't want to do it. It's bad practice. coast here Middlesbrough station here we come Middlesbrough Middlesbrough Apparently, I forgot to mention, this scenario is called Rail Freight. It's the first scenario with the Class 20. And it is 45 minutes long, which is... It's in the middle of a... That's in the middle of sort of typical train sim scenario times. They tend to be shorter on this game, which is why I like them. Um, the scenarios tend to be about... The longest one I've ever seen was 65 minutes. Um, so they tend to be a bit shorter, which is what I like. I like that the arcadiness of this game. You can just jump on and drive a train arcade style. Short scenario that's like 40 minutes long. Train Sim 2021 tends to be a bit more... It's the next sort of level you'd go to. Sort of like, not a pro level, but... It's sort of that next level up of immersion where... You don't get told the next speed limit. You don't get told the next signal. You need to be looking yourself. Routes tend to be a lot longer. Um, for instance, you could be sat behind the, the the controls on a on a train for 120 minutes. I've been on I've been on a scenario for 100 and I think it was 155 minutes, um, which is coming up to two hours almost. Which is, uh, that's quite a long time. Uh, some people don't see it as a long time. I do. Uh, especially when I just want to, I just want to hop on and play a, play a game. Like, for like a, a quick, you know, maybe hour or two. Um, and I want to be sat here for so long. But that's simulation. That's, that's, it's that next immersion point of uh, simulating and being immer um, immersed in. Oh, we've got to stop quick here. And being immersed in that 
I don't know if we're going to be able to stop at this. We might have to emergency break it here. Oh, we're coming down. We didn't have to break too hard, uh, but it's okay. We've got a while yet, though. We, uh, we're only on 800-something subs, I think. So we need 200 odd more. So uh, we've got time to think about it, I think. Unless a video does really well and loads of people subscribe. Which could be this one, to be honest, I'm not sure. But uh, like I say, just subscribe down below if you aren't already. You won't miss any of my videos and you won't miss some exciting new stuff coming up in the future. Other than that, I hope that you're actually enjoying. Whoa. Other than that, I hope you're enjoying the, the content that I'm, I'm producing. Um, it is... Uh, it has been a bit staggered recently, I'm not going to lie. Um, this new job is sort of that I'm doing. I, I don't do YouTube full-time. I, I do a day job as well. But... Uh, are we supposed to be waiting here? I think we are. Yeah, we must be having to wait here. It says next signal red. 900 yards. That's not 900 yards, I'll let you know. And apparently we gotta wait. Yeah, this new job is uh, that I'm doing. Uh, I'm a carpenter at the moment, and uh, yeah, it's taking its uh, its toll on the channel. Uh, before I used to work on a farm, and uh, they would let me have four days work and a Friday off, uh, which I would use that Friday to go and volunteer uh, as a gardener somewhere, and. Uh, then the afternoon was all mine after I finished the volunteering the afternoon was all me um, so I could record loads of videos in that time uh, I had uh, Friday afternoon completely free to make videos um, and fortunately now I work five days a week at this new job and uh, the weekends I don't record videos so I'm trying to squeeze in recording videos after after work and it is taking its toll uh, videos are being more sporadic like you know I used to do three videos a week now I do I barely do one video a week we're gonna try and well, I might save it actually here yeah. and we're gonna see if we can't push on uh, wheel slip He might be the reason we're, we're waiting, to be fair. I think we had a fault there, like a wheel slip fault. Yeah, the loco just won't move now. Oh, we've got the brake on, that's why. <laughs> My bad. Ah, there you go, it's changed. 23 yards, yeah, that is the one.
we are having to wait here. Not too sure what for, but we are having to wait. Okay, we've finally been given a yellow. After uh, quite a wait, actually. Now we're getting... We're sort of overloading the uh, traction there. A little bit. But we can finally get moving again. So we have another red just up here, which we need to be careful of. It's not just yet, but we will take it slow. Because I believe we're coming into the yard now. Class 20, absolutely. Just being an absolute trooper. Let's, uh, let's get a nice... Can I pause the game? I don't know how, but we can have a look at it going past. Looking very good. Really enjoying this one. Teeds Valley is a. Uh, it's one of those routes on this game that is. Uh, it has and it hasn't got a lot of stuff, but I'm glad that they added the class 20 to it, um, and then there was the 31 as well, which was quite fun. But hopefully they start adding more and more um, locos to to these routes. I'd like to see locos added for older routes um, as well. Uh, Great Western. I'd love to see some more locos added to that. Um, and yeah, I'd like to see um, East Coastway as well get some get some new stuff. But uh, locos cost quite a bit. Uh, I've noticed that the routes, if you buy a route, it's more, you get more for your money than if you just buy a loco. Um, but it's always been like that in train sim. The locos do cost quite a bit. Usually, if you're buying a specific loco, it has, it has built been built from the ground up, and it has got features on it that you just wouldn't get in like a, a route or something or anything like that so you are buying it for the the fact that it has been done properly and has been modeled and stuff and and whatnot but sometimes I do feel like they are a bit steep now I'm not sure if we'll have to do a shutdown I Probably will do a shutdown. I imagine I'll have to do it from this desk over here. But uh, we'll see. 500 yards, we have a yellow, but that's okay, we can pass it. Sort of just rolling at the moment, just keeping it under that speed limit. I do like this, how it's like overgrown and stuff, and it, it looks like a proper yard, you know, it's overgrown, the track, you know, in between the sleepers are just grimy, there's stuff just on the side of the track, it's, it's, you know, a proper yard, it's 
it's used and abused and it's uh it's not going to be looked after like the main lines are because it is going to be storing freight not sure how long this is going to be this scenario but uh we will complete it and uh, also before we sort of come to an end I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't subscribed yet please do so down below also if you haven't seen any of my other videos they're all on the channel go check them out train sim truck sim omsi you can go check them all out um, the last video we did was on the new DAF XG 2021 um, new truck from DAF on Eurotruck so if you haven't seen that go check it out and I think we're stopping down here 500 yards will be at the bottom of here this will probably be the end of the scenario down here I imagine it's been quite an enjoyable one uh, I don't know if we're gonna get the gold rating on it but uh, like I say in the past I'm not really bothered about ratings or getting gold or anything I just want to play the scenario Let's coast our way in here. A pair of 37s over there. 31. No, uh. 37s over there. 37s here. Thought I saw a 31 back there. But, uh. No, it's just all 37s. An absolute assortment of wagons. I don't know what all of them are called. I think that's a HAA. No, a HEA, sorry. Um, that's for like coal and stuff. What's this one? PGA. They've all got special sort of designations. I don't know them all. BBA. That's what we've got, I think, on the back here. A couple of 37s over there in red stripe. Rail freight red stripe livery. Again, if you haven't seen the video on that on that loco, you can go check it out. Uh, it is on my channel. that is us so we will do a shutdown I think if it doesn't end the uh, scenario straight away good work the wagons will be shunted ready for Lackenbury climb down and stretch your legs before work continues okay well we will do a shutdown anyway so uh, we need to make sure that this is completely off and we'll put this to engine only there we go. And uh, let's make sure everything is okay for now. I think we can turn the cab off. Cab lights don't work anyway. Okay, well, we'll uh, shut it down from over here, I think. So you might have to have that to off. How 
handbrake on as well. Handbrake is on. Brakes can uh, go to release. There we go. It's just so that the uh, brakes aren't just on. The handbrake is going to be the pr prime. Uh... Oh, here we go. It's telling us to put it to shut down. We can uh, actually do it from here, I think. There we go. Might have to do that one as well. Here we go. Set the master key to off. There it is. And climb down from the loco. So it is completely dead. Engine is off. Handbrake is on. It is not going anywhere. And uh, we'll take a look at it as we get down from here. There's a couple over there as well. But that is the Class 20. Uh, the first scenario with the Class 20. I hope you enjoyed. If you uh, haven't already, please subscribe down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.